What's going on guys? Welcome to the last video that I'm gonna be making with my 2017 R6. It's a sad time. You guys know I got my spot back in Austin that I like making these mods videos and I wanted to do this one there as well, but I just simply ran out of time. We were coming out here to uh, Houston to um, see family. We had family coming into town, but I wasn't gonna leave you guys hanging. I am literally delivering the bike to the new owner today. In a couple hours, this bike is not gonna be in my hands anymore. So I have one more shot to show you guys everything that we got on this thing. But we're gonna find a nice spot that we can go over all the mods on this thing so I can tell you guys about it, tell you what the total cost would be if you wanted the same exact R6. I always like doing that with my bikes. You guys like seeing that. So I'm gonna get out on the road. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of riding on this, a little bit of a mod overview, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Mm. No daily 100 on that one. So I did the last mod on here uh, this past week, and that was the wheels. Woo! Anyways, uh, that was the last mod that I did on here. It was the last thing that I wanted to do to kind of complete the look of the bike, and I'm I'm thrilled about it. I wanted to do it a long time ago, and I finally got around to doing it. I'm kind of glad that I didn't do it until after I had completed the sale of the bike because I am I'm not so sure if I would have been able to uh, sell the thing <laughs> after seeing it like this. It looks so good. I know uh, a lot of you guys actually really liked how the blue looked with the new fairings, and I was really surprised. I thought it looked out of place. I thought it didn't match. I obviously made a video talking about why I wanted to get the 2017 R6, the 2017 being the first first one of the new generation with the complete redesign. I knew when they revealed it that I wanted to get it because I used to have an R6. I had a 2009 R6 and I only owned it for four months because it was stolen. And I had so much fun working on this bike, doing all the mods that we did, basically making it my own and uh, providing new content for uh, this generation of the R6. Get some last runs in before we uh, <laughs> say goodbye. Let's see if I can find a good little spot over here to film this video. All right, so before we get into all the mods that I got here on the R6, a quick word about the sponsor for today's video, and that is Audible. Audible is the best way to consume audiobooks on the go. It contains an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, audio-guided fitness and meditation programs, free access to news like the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, and more right in the Audible app. Audible members now get more than ever before. Three titles every single month. One audiobook of your choice and two Audible originals that you can't get anywhere else. And you can get all of this with a free 30-day trial by going to audible.com slash motonosity or by texting motonosity to 500-500. Now my wife Abby has gotten me hooked lately on all things Mount Everest, so my choice this month was Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. Now this is a gut-wrenching and inspiring personal account of the 1990s Mount Everest disaster during the deadliest season in the history of the mountain. Uh, it's an awesome story. Still not done with it. I saw the movie. The audiobook has been just as good, and I really recommend you guys check it out when you try out your free trial. Audible is great for listening on the go, whether you're commuting, flying, or working out. And when you download books on Audible, they're yours to keep forever, even if you cancel your subscription. Again, you guys can start listening today with a 30-day Audible trial in your first audiobook and two Audible originals or yours for free. Just go to audible.com slash motonosity or text motonosity to 500 500. 
Now uh, let's go check out the mods on my Yamaha R6. All right, so let's take a look at what we got on here. Everything will be linked down in the description so you guys can see everything on here in case I miss something. But we'll go ahead and start off at the front. This is um, the stock windscreen. All it is is just a painted windscreen. I did that myself just with some uh, spray paint. Um, it's a matte spray paint, so it looks pretty good on the inside. Um, and on the outside, you just maintain the, the stock glossy look of the windscreen so looks pretty good super cheap the mirror block offs that you see here are by Litec I think these are the best option um, I recently switched to these from the driven racing ones those ones actually broke on me and uh, these are far more flush on the front fairing than the driven racing ones were all the bolts around the uh, the bike they're pro bolt um, these are the stainless steel ones, but they're all black. All the fairings, those are actually designed by me. I did the whole design myself, and then it was made by AU Motor Fairing. They actually were the ones that um, sold the aftermarket fairings, and you can do your own design, or you can choose one of their designs. Most recent mod that I mentioned, obviously, is the white wheels that I used. Um, it's called Super Wrap. It's like a Plasti Dip type product, but made specifically for like wheels on cars and motorcycles, and it looks a lot better than Plasti Dip. All the frame protection, the uh, frame sliders, the axle sliders on the front, the bar ends on the bars, those are all Wamatec um, sliders from TSC Industries. Those are pretty much the first thing that I put onto the bike, uh, as I do with all my bikes. The only thing that I didn't have Wamatech is the uh, Evotech spools that are here on the rear that I picked up from Motivation recently. Exhaust is the uh, Leo Vinci Evo Carbon, I believe is what it's called, Evo One Carbon. It is amazing. I absolutely love the sound on it. Um, it's a full system, so slip on mid pipe headers. And after I did that exhaust, I did the ECU flash. Um, by Boss Racing. Another thing that I did, uh, not myself, but kind of designed myself with the help of the seller, was the uh, the seat covers. These are our Louis Moto seat covers. I kind of worked with them to make my whole design on what I wanted on here with the, the carbon fiber look to the sides, the grip on the, on the front, and then the diamond stitching right here. And then I have my gold stitching on the outer edge. Uh, kind of worked with them to make that whole design. Now apparently you guys really like buying <laughs> that design from them. Um, I have it on both the, the front seat and the rear seat. The license plate mount is uh, Fender Eliminator is from TST Industries. It's their, I think it's Elite One. I think that's the name of it. And this is the adjustable version. So you can basically mount it. Um, it's hard to see here, but it's got uh, a couple different bars here and you can pretty much mount it in any little direction. You can mount it from the bottom of the plate or the top of the plate. Um, you can mount it down here. I believe you can mount it uh, up here as well if you want to have it, you know, more legal. <laughs> I like it down here. I think it looks a lot more clean and I never have problems with it here in Texas. So that's where I have it mounted and I think it looks really, really sleek. This is also from TST Industries. I think it's machined aluminum, but it looks really nice and uh, it cleans up that space where the fender limiter, or the, the rear fender was. Staying here at the rear, um, we have a, a few products from JL Designs. This is their uh, smoked out tail light with the integrated turn signals. And uh, in addition to that, I also have the turn signals. I can't remember what they're called. It's pretty cool because it kind of illuminates the whole area. So you can see um, it kind of adds more light here for when you have your turn signals on. Speaking of turn signals, um, when you get rid of the mirrors on the new R6, you also get rid of the turn signals. So what I've done is uh, there's a guy who has a company called Intelligent Lighting Systems, and he does RGB LED swaps on some motorcycles. While these are the stock housings for the DRLs in here, they have um, RGB LED strips built into them. And in addition to that, they have a controller that I have installed under the rear seat that allows you to control all the lighting. Um, and it actually connects to your phone with Bluetooth so that you can control the lights, you can have it flash different patterns, you can have it flash to music, and it also has the turn signals built in. So those will flash left or right for turn signals, and you can do all different patterns for the type of turn signals that you wanna do. Here's a controller mounted right here under the rear seat. On this bike, there's almost no space, but that's where I have it. I do have a few carbon fiber pieces on the bike. I have the 
front uh, fender and uh, the rear wheel hugger right here, along with the front tank cover. Those are all um, an authentic matte carbon and I got them from some random seller on eBay. The brake lines are all uh, Spiegler stainless steel braided brake lines, really nice. They're, I believe, the smoked version and like the titanium bolts uh, and banjos. I think it's titanium. Um, I really like how they look. I think it looks really good with the bike. Rotors are all stock. Sprockets, however, are not. Um, I did, uh, I wanna say it's a either a RK or an EK chain and the sprockets are driven sprockets uh, 15 in the front 45 in the rear so that's one down in the front and stock uh, stock teeth in the rear levers absolute favorite levers I had them on my R1 had to have them on my R6 um, ASV unbreakable levers with the uh, the gold adjusters the bike actually came blue that's how I bought it I originally did a full uh, frozen vanilla satin satin frozen vanilla 3m vinyl wrap on the whole bike and when I did the new fairings I kept the tank like that so it doesn't perfectly match the mat that's on the uh, the fairings but if you didn't know well now you know as I mentioned it does have a quick shifter it's the uh, the factory GYTR quick shifter that you can get on these things. No auto blipping downshift or anything like that. It's just a standard quick shifter, but uh, it's good. The best mod of all, the Motonosity brake reservoir cover. You can get them at motonosity.com slash shop. Um, as with all my bikes, I've got the Ram Mount X grip on here for my phone. Don't think there's anything else that's on the bike that I haven't mentioned yet. Like I said, I'll have all the mods listed down in the description in case I forgot anything. And so you guys have links so you guys can go check them out if you wanna get anything that I have on this bike. Um, all those links uh, are affiliate links. So if you buy with those links, I get a little kickback with no extra cost to you. So those will be linked down below along with the total cost um, if you were to buy everything today that I have here on this bike. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that is my 2017 R6. And that is my last video with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this bike as much as I have. It's been uh, a pretty incredible bike to own, but it's time to move on. I, I've already have moved on with my S1000. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos. Remember to check out my website, motonosity.com shop. Check out all the mods down in the description. You guys have been awesome. I've been Motonosity. Remember life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived and I will see you guys in the next one.